like to talk to you now about some really fun games that you can play to incorporate reading into your baby's life. You can just use the games in order to teach your baby to read, or you can use them as a review to teach old words. You can use them to create new words. It's up to you to get creative. These games just help babies make the connection that words are everywhere and it helps them to learn how to read. One of the games I like to play is getting some magnetic letters. You can get a magnetic board and you can keep it in your baby's room or you can use magnetic letters on the refrigerator and you can quickly and easily create words on demand. Say you're showing your baby a story book about a bear and you want to go ahead and have your baby read the word bear this week can quickly create the word bear show your baby that word you can even spell it out as you put the letters there B E A R baby will be learning to spell as well as learning to read you can also make word for example here's another word we can make the word gecko you can go ahead and spell out your baby's name so it's unlimited the things you can do with magnetic board and um, a set of magnetic letters. You can also use your magnetic board to create sentences, which are a lot of fun. So it's a good idea if you have one and you hang it in your baby's room or somewhere where you have access to it. Let's say you want to say that Nicholas is a good baby. So. This got a little bit crowded, but just to show you for an example, you would go ahead and point to your, and show your child a word, and you could say, Nicholas is a good baby. And you can go ahead and create sentences constantly. If your baby is interested in the word bear, you can create a sentence using the word bear. You can create sentences using their name, create sentences about things they're doing. And even if you're only working on the single word stage, it's just an excellent way to start introducing sentences into your baby's day. ABC blocks are a fun way to play with letters and to also create words while your baby is using their manual dexterity to place blocks on top of one another. I have some ABC blocks right here just to give you an example of some things you can do with them. Say you want to make the word Sam. Say your baby's name is Sam. You can spell out Sam. You can tell your baby as you lay out the letters S-A-M Sam. You can make the word jam. You can keep changing the beginning letter to make rhyming words and your child will understand that the AM part stays the same. They'll make the association with their brains that changing the front letter still makes the word rhyme. It has the same sound. So there's a lot of things you can do when you're playing with ABC blocks. Another thing you can do in order to teach your baby to read, another way to keep words and letters in their environment is with foam letters in the bathtub. When you're giving your baby a bath, babies usually love to have their baths. If you buy some ABC foam letters, you can create all kinds of words, teaching your baby their ABCs, teaching them how to spell, and teaching them how to read all at the same time. If they're handy and available in the bathroom, it doesn't take any time to put out some words. So as an example, I created some here on this piece of paper, just an idea of some words you might want to create when your baby's in the bathtub, toys, bath, bubbles, shampoo, and once again, you can spell out the words as you're putting them together and tell your baby T-O-Y-S, toys. So again, just look for ways to incorporate words and letters into your baby's life and your baby is definitely gonna learn to read. Another game you can play with your baby is called going on a word hunt. This is a fun way to review word cards that you've already seen before. You can just take some cards and place them around the house, put them by the television, put them by the lamp, and tell your baby, let's go on a word hunt. Gee, I wonder if we can find the word book. And you can give your baby, you can slightly hesitate to give your baby an opportunity to try to find the word for you, or you can just go ahead and grab it. But instead of just sitting for a flashcard session, this is especially good for very active babies. Just lay the words out in different places and say, hmm, I wonder if we can find the word cat. And then you go ahead and you find the words. So going on a word hunt can be used for review. It can be used for teaching. 
however you see it appropriate. It's just a fun way to change up the pace of your reading program. You can also jump over the words. Some moms like to lay the words on the floor and have their baby jump over them. Obviously, this is for babies that are older, so you could lay your word card down and say, let's jump over the word dog, and your baby will jump over the word dog while they're looking at it. So again, they're having fun and they're making associations with what these letters say and to how they combine to form a word. There's something else you can do in order to teach your baby to read, and this you can do on a daily basis. This is something I use all the time. You can point words out as you encounter them in your life. For example, when I'm in the kitchen, if my baby's thirsty and wants some juice, as I pull out the juice, we'll point to the word apple juice, and we read it before I pour it into her cup, or lemon juice, or cereal, or eggs, or any word that is not so teeny tiny and that your baby can easily see, we point these out in our everyday environment. Last week, my baby was reading sugar granulated, so they can learn words anywhere, anytime. It's just our job to point out those words so our babies can understand them. And lastly, one of our favorite games, I invented this game to play with my son because I wanted to know if he was reading mentally. I noticed that when I see words without even trying, I just read them. And I was wondering, when babies learn to read as infants, are they capable of reading mentally? Are they reading all the words as they encounter them also? So one day while we were taking a ride down the highway, I told my son, let's play a game. Every time you say a word, any words you see, you're going to get one point. We quickly began a game of everybody shouting and saying the words that they found first, whether it was Burger King or Howard Johnson's or Subway or any stores we saw, stop signs, speed limit signs. And we didn't keep track of the points. Babies just like to know they're getting points. My son was thrilled every time he got a point, although we never did anything with the points. But we played this game, and he still loves to play this game. So it's a good way to teach your baby to read words while you're driving. You can also do it when you're walking through a shopping center, when you're at the grocery store. You can show your baby words as you're putting things in the cart. You can read signs for restroom, women, men, exit, entrance. So just use your imagination and be sure you continually point out words to your child. Mm -hmm.